Okay. found a new awesome spot to hang out. Here's her face. Hi. I'm still using the blanket just to keep keep her as calm and low stress as possible. I just got back from the colony, just took Fairy back, posted a video of her release on People for Happier Cats on the Facebook. Ooh, that's coming out. Hi, what a good girl. She was very happy to be back. Hi. Good job. Put that poor little tail on the camera. And then I saw a bunch of other. There were lots of cats out today. It's nice and sunny in the forest. So I did her drops, her serum drops, and now we wait 20 minutes, get ready for the ointment, we just wait, hang out, we get snuggles, he may be hungry, I think he were napping all afternoon, don't tell me if you want it, it's for you Casey.
really no pregnant cats out there today. I don't know of any that are pregnant, uh, except maybe Scout. I think Scout is probably pregnant, but we don't see her every day. And she also is one of the ones that has a pretty safe place to have her babies. She's been having babies for quite some time. She's got a system. Scout had, I, my plan was to bring in Scout and Neelix together, but um, Savina um, was our, was, was not on the list. We were actually hoping we got her in time and that we could spay her, but um, Savina ended up taking Scout's spot, so we'll get Scout next time. to guess how many still have to be done because the, the only ones we get at our feeding station are sort of transient ones that come through um, unpredictably so it's really hard to plan trapping days because many days there aren't any cats that need to be trapped um, and then some days there are like 10 cats that need to be trapped so uh, we're sort of in a holding pattern at the moment, mostly because I have my hands full here and can't organize the logistics, but um, we're pretty close at our feeding station, like there's a huge difference at our feeding station, but because there are so many sub-colonies around, um, that we need to get, we need to get access to. Do you just, you, she just noticed that it's human predator is the one that is um, petting her right now, so she has to run away. She has to run away. But compared to this time last year, this time last year, all all of the cats were pregnant. So um, it's pretty amazing to go and we have, you know, 50 cats there and 25 of them are not pregnant, whereas last year they were. So um, definitely a big, a big difference. We have seen very few kittens at the feeding station. We see them when they're older, like six months plus. We've seen a f like two or three, maybe four, that have been like four months, three, three to four months. And then um, Nova's three kittens who were very sick. But really, um, we don't see any little kittens. 
at least we didn't at all last year, so. No, the door is not open. This is a, a different sliding door than the one topper. This is a different house even. But these uh, sliding doors do not um, meet in the middle. And the one of them is broken, so. I'm pretty sure that she's looking through the crack when she's looking at the door. She's not looking for me to come back. She's just looking out there to see what's going on. Um, I assume there are pregnant cats on the other side of the feeding station, but we, we don't have access. So, um, we are working on getting access to, we, we did get access to one spot, but it's not, it wasn't on the main thoroughfare where the cats hang out. So we didn't get a lot of customers there. So, um, we are working on getting access to a different spot but uh, these things take time. I need to update the stats because I don't, I don't actually have the catalog uh, updated. I've sort of fallen behind with that. Um, but it's, I think we're around 170 cats that have been spayed and neutered. Yeah, it's quite a few. We've been there a year, so... Um, quite a lot. So that's why, I, that's when I say that there's a big difference at the feeding station today than there was this time last year. That's why. We have a lot of relaxed, lazy cats that play and sleep in the sun and um, are really enjoying life. You'll see if you watch the video on people for happier cats on Facebook um, You'll see like Rollins is one of our cats that uh, had an eyeball um, actually in worse condition than Skye's and so uh, Dr. Ferguson removed it when he was neutered and um, we released him back and He's doing great. So you'll see him um, playing with Barkley a little bit, um, but they're super happy once they go back. Oh, the calorie cat, that's Gallico. He's a big boy. He's like a bear. I'm not sure if he's a bear or a cat. Maybe his dad was a bear. He's bear shaped. I saw Eliane for the first time since I returned her, and she was um, much less slinky than I've ever seen her. And uh, Cassidy's mama, Sigma, was there. She was slightly braver. And um, Satine was there, and she came pretty close. Um, kitten season for us usually lasts, it starts, they start getting pregnant in February. I think Sable was the first litter of kittens born, so March, March is when kittens start coming, and then they come probably through October or November, probably November, for the most part.
Sky is doing very well. It'll be interesting to see what happens when she has her babies if her um, pregnancy hormones take over. Um, and then, and then that we'll have a, a a dilemma because I don't know. We we'll just have to see how it goes. No sense in speculating. I didn't see Cisco today, but I've seen her a, a couple times last week. Rose hangs out at the other side. She is one that the property owner trapped from the other side, so she has returned over there to hang out. Yeah, if Sky decides that she doesn't want to hang out with humans and she has one good eyeball, then she'll be totally fine going back. Um, obviously, my first choice for her would be to find a really great home. And then we don't have to worry so much about her, her eyes and she can continue to get treatment if she needs it. But um, if that would be torturous for her, then the next best option is to return her. Yeah, I'm not gonna, uh, if, if she is ferocious with her babies and her eyes are still borderline, then I will keep her longer. I'm not gonna send her back um, without having exhausted all other efforts. But she, so far she's doing really well. I'm very pleased with her progress. And if we can find a wonderful home, like even if she, even if she gets to the point where mistletoe it was, um, wait, no, you can't leave yet. You're still my captive for another five minutes or so. You're still my captive. Captives don't get to leave, you know? Um, she always showed up to the feeding station alone and was very uh, deferential to other cats. I assume because she had to be careful not to pick fights with anyone because she knew she couldn't win. Yeah, her personality is way different from Sloane. Way different from Cisco. Um, Hard to say who she's closest to at this stage. Each, each of them is pretty unique. Inara was more confident and more, um, like once she started purring, she just like was somewhat demanding of attention. And Sky is not quite to that point yet. But we could get there. You know where you're going. Uh, oh, the number of the 170 that we've adopted. That's a good question. That number includes kittens that have been born here or at LAPS, or kittens that uh, the property owner grabbed because he has access to most of the nests. Um, and so he would grab the sick ones. And so I would say we're over 60 with kittens and then adults. We've got the eight that were here, Rio, Inara, Mr. T and Piney. That's what, 12? Um, who else am I forgetting? Doe. And then the non-feral ones, like uh, Kestrel and Lilypad and Calla Lily. So quite a few. I don't do. Uh, have Susan and Shiver been adopted? Mary did not come from the colony. Yeah. So there have been quite a few. I need to update the database at some point, but it's probably not going to happen for the next eight weeks. 
what with Cassidy, Cassidy, I was a little, um, stressed this morning because I had just gotten back from Cassidy's appointment and, um, I need to step up his physical therapy. So between his several sessions of physical therapy and Sky's medications, um, and then, you know, three moms about to give birth and then socialization for the sablets. And then we have two adoptions happening tomorrow, which is wonderful. But it's uh it's a little much right now. And if something if something goes wrong with I mean if the three litters of kittens are all born healthy and fine, then that's one thing, but if we have any issues then I think it's gonna be a real struggle over here. So don't expect to uh get your emails answered. <laughs> mm. You're very really cute. You have to stay. You're my captive for one more minute. I have delegated all of the things that can be delegated, but some of the stuff is stuff that I need to do myself. So, actually, most of it. Uh, so. It's all gonna work out though. One way or another. It's all good. Oh no, you have to stay because I know you don't like nobody likes I on the time. But it makes you feel better. Oh she says no more I ointment. I have put up with you long enough, lady. You have. You've been very good. Now hang on for one second, I'm gonna put the lid on so it doesn't squirt all over the place. Then we're going to do a little massaging to make sure it gets in there good. Oh, yeah, we see this is what you have to do in love with this. And then we see if you want a treat. She says, what I want now is escape, not a treat. Okay, then, if you're going to escape, then go in your nest. Then go in your nest. Look how nice your nest is. Oh, there she goes. Little wide load. So cute. Look how cute she is. Perfect. Alright, so, um, she's doing really well. You can see, I can even talk and she doesn't, like, you can see how her reaction afterwards is much less stressed. Her respirations have slowed down. She's pretty good. I'm going to see if she just wants this treat. She uses the mouse as a pillow. Do you like it? Oh, she will accept it. There's the girl. We have some treats then. Because you were such a good girl. Oh, treats will be accepted in the nest only. There we go. You're a good girl. And now it's time for treats trick with the kibble. I tricked you that time. See? See what I did there? And here's one with some icing on it. That's even better. Mm. Oh, do I need to hand feed you now? I will. How about just kibble? Because this is nutritious and you have to, you have babies to feed. That's my finger. That's my finger part. I know, I like junk food too. Mmm, she, she's ready for it now. That's my finger. It's nice though that she's accepting me, sticking my hand in there pretty quickly and right up to her face. This is all kibble that she's eating. This is proper proper nutrition for babies. Did you drop it?
<laughs> you know that you can come out here and do this yourself if you want to. Oh, the babies got hungry all of a sudden, didn't they? Mmm, very delicious. I'll get my finger. <laughs> That's another thing right there. It is. <laughs> I don't think she can see very well, so she has to. Whoops, no, no, it's here, it's here. There you go. Oh no, you dropped it. It's here. It's right here. See it, see it, see it. Are you done? There you go. And one more. Want one more? Or if you guys want one more. Do you want one more? <laughs> Did you drop that? I don't know if you got that one or if it dropped. Oh, it dropped. Here, get that one. Oh no, they both dropped. Here. Did you get it? And this one too. Oh, that was a punchy one. There you go. Try that off the AD. Oh, you're very good. Oh, don't do that. No, 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 don't do that. No, you don't scratch like that. I'll do this. I'll do safe, safe petting. She says, no, keep eating, you don't, no petting. Here, how about more glycine? That helps your eyes. Are we going to have our lunch this way? Mm. I have to feed you your whole lunch, like this one kibble at a time. So place one kibble gently on your tongue <laughs> until you're done. Oh, that's really tasty. I'll do this for you when you're having babies too if you want. You probably wouldn't be quite as excited about it. <laughs> You're so cute. Hey, oh, oh, that was exciting. Did you eat? I think you just swallow that one whole. Being scissors now. <laughs> Grabbing my finger. Cute, he's cute. If you put it on me, I'm gonna pet you. I'm gonna pet it if it touches me. Oh, ouchie. <laughs> Good thing I gave her a pot of cure, huh? She's a, and she's very gentle. I dropped it, I'm so sorry. You know there's a delay there, unacceptable. Oh, good girl. I should try, I should quicker train you for these. 
You're gonna have to get a big drink of water now. How about some, some sneaky food? Oh, that's pretty tasty. Oh, don't make a mess though. Don't make a mess in your mess. Oh, that's super tasty. Mmm. That was enthusiastic. I guess we're just going to have our lunch this way. Mm -hmm. Oh, get that one off your... Get that off your, off your pillow. Follow your nose. Okay, I'll help you. Here, I'll get it. one. This is like a two scoop ice cream cone. <laughs> it's like you didn't have breakfast like an hour ago. Well, I guess it's been a few hours. Okay, so let's not make a huge mess in your nest. Just in case. What if you have babies? You don't want them covered in food crumbs. Someone is, has got some babies to feed. You're a, a growing girl. It's a good meal. Maybe you'll see some sky burps when we're done. Hi. Well, keep going. You got the you got some crumbs down there. There you go. Mm-hmm. Here now you've made a big mess. Wait, I'm gonna touch your paw because I'm picking up your mess. Here you go. There. What? Are you done? Are you checking it out? Oh, I should take a picture. That's... Even though that lighting is... That LED lighting is not very good. It makes flickers on the film, but... But... Ooh. That's not very bright. Oh, so beautiful. So beauteous. I'm gonna make it one just a little bit brighter. Can I, can you go here? Can you go here and oh oops. Well, I I got individual. Alright, are you done with your lunch? Do you want one more of this? Uh oh, do you have one more? One more. Alright, you can, you're gonna have to come on and get some water. But I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna pet you now. Now we're gonna do petting. You can do this, right? So then you can come on. Pull on.
subscribe button. Mm. Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. I'm glad you enjoyed your snack. Oh, she's purring. She's purring. That's nice. That's really nice. Mm -hmm. And look at my mouth. She makes such a good purr. Oh, I can reach into the feral's nest. That's good. She's a very good bug. Very good. Okay. Good job, little mama to me. You're so cute. I hope you have a nice comfy nap. She's purring. She's very adorable. Yes. Oh, the good girl. She's on her bed. Oh, that's nice. It's purring for no reason. Adorable. Adorable. Okay. All right. I better go. Um, we have Noelle's tiny suitcase packing party on the Sable Cam at 7 with all the smugglers. And then I'll be back up here for meds after that. And then I gotta get, I gotta get Noelle's paperwork ready. Oh my goodness, so many things going on. Alright. You're a very good girl. You're very beautiful and very special. Okay. So I will see you all later. Noelle will have tiny suitcases packed tonight. All right.